What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to this foreground. Today, we're going to take a look at the upcoming update regarding Cosme and Jeanette. Before we get into that, guys, I want to remind all of you to make sure that you use all of your carnival coins in here. Uh, make sure that you try to get as many rewards out of the Aegis Challenge as possible and complete all of your tries. Don't forget about this because this is the last day of this and Aegis Challenge is going to reset for the next upcoming event so i wish you all good luck on this i know a lot of you had some problems with it but if you can try to get at least that dx generic memory on here i would at least try to cue this thing up if you can so let's talk about the update right let's cue this thing up all right so we have the update here guys we have the update notice and it looks like our predictions were correct Jeanette is going to be a green attack and Cosme is going to be a blue balance right so the green and blue getting some love in this update the girls look so gorgeous right and then we have some card sets now I really love this option card this is really cool right I love the retro looks I always think those look so awesome and then of course their three PGs look amazing then you have this nice retro set card I mean this is pretty nice you got Jeanette kicking back here right you got a uh, rock over here I mean it's pretty funny man pretty funny and then we have this set car right here also with Cosmion like the whole love letter thing going on that's really nice right and then the same multiple things we come to expect from a lot of these events or from the car sets is that you know increased attack critical damage and active skill damage on our three PGs Right, and you can see the C and in the cannon increase critical damage by 25% after using. Now, this is only going to apply to Jeanette, right? So it's not a support buff at all. But then you see the C and Shiranui increase critical damage of all teammates, including self by 10%, decrease all enemies' defenses by 30% for 10 seconds after use. So Cosme looking like a support character, guys. That is a support buff if I've ever seen one, which is crazy, guys. That's a really, really good. Decreasing all enemies defenses is nice. That really helps in damage. And then, of course, that extra critical damage is very powerful for our character. So we'll see how that plays out. But so far, she's looking like a support. And it looks like Jeanette's going to be the powerhouse. Kind of what you predict, in all honesty, or what we predicted. And then you have new battle card dungeon, right? You have the summons here. Go down here, right? You have the pickups. And then we have something like what we had before with the Sarah Dungeon. Now, some players really, really hated this. Some players really, really like it because there's a lot of strategy involved in this thing. And it wasn't really as bad as what people thought originally in the initial testing. We really know how to handle this thing now. We know how to approach it. And I'll talk about it whenever it comes out. Hopefully, we will be able to approach it the same way that we did the Sarah's Dungeon in order to really destroy this thing. So... I'm really, really excited for this. I hope that it's quality, guys. Hopefully the points reset, but you guys can see that we have available entry counts, which is nice, right? However, you can see the best record reward is given through the mailbox and the reward for the record achieved is paid only once per week, okay? You can also see that we have two weeks of this and then unused entries are accumulated daily and will reset every week. So Hopefully, that'll give people more of a chance to gain more carnival points. That's actually really good, hopefully. And then we have boss information, yellow, red, purple, three properties change in order of regular event intervals. And then, of course, damage reduction to dots, and then immunities to stun, petrify, and freeze. So then we have phantom grab, which it is a powerful skill used after the boss moves to the center at regular intervals to subdue the fighter. When a fighter is hit by a phantom grab, the gotcha debuff is applied. And while under the debuff effect, fighters receive additional damage when hit by phantom grab. Ooh. A fighter can escape from phantom grab by using the touch control. And in case of PC play, touch control is possible by clicking the mouse or using the space bar. So we're going to have to remember that if we're playing on PC. And then the weak points, the debuff that stacks on the boss when attacked by blast skills... So there's blast skills, guys. There you go. So that's going to be an advantage against this thing. Applies weaken at max weak point stacks. Increase the boss damage taken. The weaken effect is removed when the boss uses phantom grab. And then, of course, we have the AG system. Now, you guys can see the characters that we're going to have in the AG system, right? And hopefully, you know, you guys, some of you will have some of these characters, right? They got Lung in here. They got Leona. They have Hodoru, who was a free character, although most players probably only got her to A2, I do believe. Of course, you're going to have Jeanette and Cosme in here. Lady Guinness is in here. Akira, Jackie. And it's really nice that they put the free version of Akira in here. That's actually really, really good because most players were able to get this character A5. And there were a lot of players that were 
actually able to get Ruga out of level up if they got lucky during his pull. So we'll see how this plays out, guys, as far as, you know, how difficult this is actually going to be. You know, will Shane be quality in this thing? We'll find out. So if you don't have any of these characters, this is going to be probably a very, very difficult event for you to be able to do, which is kind of a bummer. And then we scroll down here, guys, and well, we, don't, we don't really need to go into all this, guys. We don't need to go into all this, right? And then we have the in-game event notice, right? Where we're going to have a login event, which is nice. We have this event, which we've already talked about. And then we have a the carnival here where we're going to be acquire an EX generic memory. And then we have the Rush Dungeon. Love the artwork again. Looks really, really nice. And then we have the Rush Dungeon set that we're going to be able to get for free with Cosme on it. So that's actually really, really good. We also have a tower. By the way, guys, I just, oh, let's scroll down here a little bit more. Sorry, I went the wrong way. And then, of course, we have the X Codex, right? I mean, just a lot of the same stuff we know, come to expect. And then we have the bingo, right? And it's nice. They got some rubies in that bingo. That's really good. And then we have this event here. So we'll see what's going to be in uh, this event, like what kind of rewards we're actually going to be able to get in this. I'm actually interested to see what's actually going to be in there. And then... We have the, you know, moon and star shaped crafting stone event. And then we have the KOF pass, which where again, where they put a BS and SS memory selector, which I really think they should get rid of. They really need to put an EX selector in this thing in order to make it worth viable for people to buy it. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed in that. But that's only that really only caters to spenders. And that's about it as far as the update is concerned. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, about the update and I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GT plus 7 time link is in the description below and I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody take care